Atlassian recently announced that their AI-powered virtual agent is now available for JSM Premium and Enterprise customers. Now, unfortunately, you will need to be a JSM Premium or Enterprise customer in order to fully take advantage of these functionalities. But in this video, I'm gonna walk you through what do you get with the virtual agent and walk you through the steps on getting it set up in your JSM environment. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. But most importantly, check out the links down below as I have links for all the different ways that you can help support the channel, whether it be buying some of my merch, buying some of my paid courses, or what's most importantly, most important to me is checking out the sponsors that help make these videos possible. Go try out their apps. Go give them some love, leave them some reviews, and let's jump into talking about the virtual agent for JSM. This video is sponsored by Release Team. This is a brand new functionality. It just came out. It was announced back in Team 2023, back in April of 2023. And it is finally here. We're about to round out 2023 and Atlassian has finally delivered on their promise. And so let's talk about what the virtual agent is. Now, before you get too excited, I do want to make something very, very clear. This is a premium and enterprise only feature. And unfortunately, the way Atlassian is going as of late, they are reserving these really, really cool awesome functionalities. Not only do data center folks not even get it, server folks don't even get it, but now in the cloud, if you're on standard versions of like even Jira software, standard versions of Confluence, or even standard versions of Jira service management, you are now gonna get a, what I'll call a diluted, a watered down experience, because you will not have access to the really cool functionalities like automation for Confluence, and now this virtual agent for JSM Premium. Now, in the past, I have been pretty outspoken about, I don't recommend that you upgrade if you're on JSM standard to premium because the only real cool thing that you get in JSM premium as of like last week was assets. And assets, I would avoid like the plague because it's probably one of the hardest, most convoluted. I don't like that functionality at all. And it doesn't justify more than 2X in your bill for that asset functionality. But now, Enter the AI powered virtual agent. Now things might start changing for me because this is a really cool functionality. And as we're going to review in this video, it might be worth getting your bill closer to $50 a month versus the 20 something dollars a month that it costs to have JSM standard. So let's dig deeper into this AI powered virtual agent and let's help make a determination. Is it enough to help us justify the cost of more than doubling our Atlassian bill? So what do we get with the virtual agent? It supercharges your service frontline by automating tier one support issues. So what exactly does that mean? Well, it means that the virtual agent is no way intended to basically replace your actual service team. It is not gonna be there to eliminate jobs. But what it is going to do, it's gonna be able to handle the very, very basic, most rudimentary requests that typically inundate your service agents. So with a built-in AI engine that leverages the best-in-class natural language processing, that means you can speak to it in a natural language, English, if you will, just, hey, my computer's not working today. Or, hey, I don't know my password, right? When you're just using regular words like that, well, the service management virtual agent is going to help you and help take some of those tasks off of your plate and help facilitate the conversation with the person, the customer that needs help. So you're gonna be able to free up agent time to focus on the work that matters, right? Your team's gonna be able to do the heavy lifting, the harder things, and will no longer need to do these very basic, like, well, did you restart your computer? Did you turn it off? Did you turn it back on? Is your computer plugged in, right? These are these basic tier one, most rudimentary, basic questions that you can ask that, again, most of the time are just enough to help solve like a lot of the different problems that come into your request team. So by offboarding these type of requests over to your virtual agent, your real agents, the expensive ones, they're going to be able to focus on much more critical requests that require more, you know, cognitive brain power and whatnot. The other thing is that this agent will work 24 seven for you, right? So if you're in a global team, that is requiring you know, help all the hours of the day, well, this virtual agent is gonna be able to take those, again, tier one level type of questions, but it's gonna be able to do it the whole 24 hours of the day. So again, 
depending on how your team is structured today, you might not need to hire people in different regions or different time zones to cover, again, a global workforce. You might be able to get away with just simply letting the virtual agent do some of the heavy lifting for these very, very basic rudimentary things. And now when your real team comes online, they can then tackle anything that the virtual agent wasn't able to take care of while they were asleep. And it's supposed to be very, very easy to help get on track, right? It's supposed to be very easy to set up the virtual agent. We're gonna talk about some of the steps that are required. It's regardless of your technical know-how, right? You don't need any coding, you don't need any data science, and you don't need expensive consultants to come and help you set it up. The problem is that they're gonna have a very easy to use UI that is just gonna let you kind of drag and drop what you want to do and get your virtual agent going. Now there's a lot more features here that you can see. We're gonna have templates so that you can just streamline that intent creation, right? Be able to get these agents up and running quickly. You're gonna be able to utilize templates. Um, they're gonna be able to utilize Atlassian assistance. This right here is probably one of my favorite things because one of the cool things about that I'm most looking forward to with this virtual agent is that it's going to be able to tap into your knowledge bases and Confluence and Jira products. So if you have a how-to article on how to do something, right, this is going to incentivize you and your team to create technical how-to documents because once you write it up and it's documented, the virtual assistant is going to be able to tap into it and be able to leverage that information to answer the questions. So again, you're going to be able to take off some of the burden of having to do these redundant, super, super easy type of questions consistently and just let AI take care of it for you. Now you're also, again, for your enterprise users, you're going to have access to analytics, which is really, really awesome. They promise a low, no code flow builder. I really do hope that it's better than what they did with their analytics because that was supposed to be low, no code and that wasn't very low, no code. And it also gives you a conversational interface, right? So this assistant is mainly going to live within the wonderful world of Slack. So you can think of the virtual assistant as basically a chat bot that is going to make your life a little bit easier. So that's kind of what the features are for right now. And keep in mind, this is a beta product. This is something that's going to keep getting better over time. And we are just barely just tasting that 1% functionality that Alaskan has now made available to us. But expect 5, 10, 15 years from now, this virtual agent is going to get so much better. So now, how do we actually get it set up? Well, let me walk you through a couple of steps that I do have access to, and then we're going to look at some documentation for the rest of the steps. And now for a quick word from our sponsor. For nearly 25 years, Release Team has been helping organizations of all sizes to adapt and improve their software development environments. We have experience with a wide range of tools from modern solutions like Jira Service Management to legacy and open source options. Let our experts help you with your next project. Release Team, we are DevOps tool specialists. Make sure you check out the link down in the description down below so you can find how to get a hold of Release Team. So back in Jira, what you want to do is you want to go as a site administrator, go to your gear, go to your user management. And once you're in there, you're going to click on settings over here on the left side, you have Atlassian intelligence and you want to make sure that you enable these. So the very first time you come in here, it's going to give you the option to like select your products like this. So you're going to select the check boxes for the products you want. You'll click next. You'll agree to the terms and service, right? Obviously there's a beta. So Atlassian is trying to collect as much information as possible. So you agree to that and then it'll look like this. So once that's done, and then we can go through the rest of the steps. So these are the links to how to set up your virtual agent. I will put them in the description down below. Again, I can only run through them here because I don't have the premium version of JSM, but I'm going to see if I can work with my Alaskan counterparts. Maybe I can get a trial or something to get this going so I can do a more in-depth video in the future. So setting up your virtual agent, right? It's very easy, right? So for the navigation in your project settings, you are now going to see a virtual agent section. Now this is available in here already and you, I'll show you mine, right? So you go to project settings on the left hand side and you will now see your virtual agent section here. But unfortunately, because I'm on the free version, it just says I need to upgrade. But for you, if you are a premium or enterprise, you're going to be able to then do the rest of the steps, right? So you will need to install the Atlassian Assist. So assuming that you are on premium or enterprise, right? You're going to basically need to connect to Slack or log into Slack, depending on where you are with your Slack integration. But Slack is going to play a critical role in this. So you're going to want to connect it there. Once you have that Slack integration, you're going to be able to come to the virtual agent, get started. You'll be able to select the default request types for your virtual agent. You're going to be able to set up select Slack channels for the virtual agent to participate in. 
And if you have that connected knowledge base, right, if you're leveraging that confluence information, you'll be able to activate your AI answers there. Then you're going to be able to go in and create your first intent, build a conversation flow for your intent, test it out, and then turn it on for your customers. Now, fortunately, all of these are very well documented. So we're just going to go with the very first one is once you do have your connection established with Slack and everything's good to go there, then you go to the next one, which is set up your virtual agent default request type. So again, reminder, request types are the types of questions or requests that your customers can ask for. So you're going to go and find out again, these are all the steps here that allow you to say, hey, for this request type, I want my virtual agent to be enabled. So you'll be able to go through that there. Once you're set up with that, then you want to set up a virtual agent channel within Slack, right? So you want to create an agent channel specifically just for this, or you can even use it uh, at an existing Slack channel. So it's all up to you. You can either make a new channel or connect it to an existing one, but you'll go through all the steps here to add that agent to your channel. And so once you're done with that, then optionally, this, this step right here is totally optional, but if you want to, when a customer sends a message, the virtual agent will first try to match it to an intent. If no intent matches, it'll try to answer the question by using artificial intelligence, all right? And it's gonna go and look through your knowledge base and try to answer it with any information there. So these are all the steps for turning on your artificial intelligent answers and connecting it to Confluence. So follow those steps there. And then after that's all set up, then we really get started with our intent. Now, this is really the magic of what makes all this possible because just having those connections are going to be great. They're going to allow you and enable you to have the utilization of the virtual agent, but without the intents, right, it's not going to do us very well. So you need to create a new intent and these are the training phases, right? So they have ways for you to train your agent to recognize intent. We're going to be able to build that conversation flow. And I do plan on doing videos on all this, right? I just need to get my hands on a premium version of JSM. I am going to, as I mentioned earlier, I am going to be reaching out to Atlassian to see how they can help enable this because there's a lot happening here that I think a lot of people are going to need to know and, and, and be able to utilize. So that right here is how we set up the intents, right? So you're going to want to walk through these steps here, do the training, activating the intents, and then going through maybe some of the templates that they have available for you to set up those intents. Now, once you have the intent, then you can be able to do the conversation flow. And the conversation flow is going to basically let it be a, a guided visual of how it will respond to the messages that are coming in from your agents, from your customers. And then finally, you get to test your virtual agent. So all we got to do is go back to the settings, go into your test channel and basically try it out there. And once it's good, once you, you know, that's reliably able to go through that conversation flow when that intent is working, then you can turn it on in your channel and just let let it do its thing at that point it's just going to go and supposedly it's going to make your life easier so i know i i definitely know i quickly brushed through those steps but again links for everything are in the description down below so try them out again i am going to be working on trying to get access so that i can do more in-depth videos but let me know in the comment section how hard is this for you because if you're struggling with it then i want to know because i spend all my day doing this stuff but this is a brand new functionality the brand new features and I'm very curious to see without these type of videos, how effective is that last one's documentation? So that's it for this video. Again, we're going to be coming back with future videos on going deeper into the virtual agent. Rest assured that that is coming soon. And now for a quick break to hear from our sponsor. Have a DevOps project in mind? Integrating new technologies, modernizing a legacy system, or just exploring your options? From assessments to licensing, Release Team has you covered. See how we help the state of Colorado migrate and consolidate multiple legacy tools and processes into Jira Service Dev. Align Aligned with the DevSecOps principles of a fast flow, continuous feedback, and high trust. Go to releaseteam.com slash case study to learn more. Release Team is an Atlassian gold solution partner for both public and private sectors. Now back to the video. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. And finally, most importantly, don't forget to check out the links down below so you can find all the different ways that you can help support the channel and check out the merch store, paid courses, and try out the apps from our sponsors. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. So fight,